Hey seventh graders, so today you guys are taking a quiz over the links in the row deer and I'm gonna go through that, but first I just wanna walk you guys the first part. Um, you guys should have already clicked on a critical juncture link, opened that up in Amplify and taken that critical juncture. There's 12 multiple choice questions and two written response questions. Make sure you hand that in in Amplify. If you haven't done that already, go back up and get it done, okay? Moving on, you guys are taking the Lynx and Roe Deer quiz today in a Microsoft form. So we're going to go ahead and right click down here and select open link. And it's going to take us into our quiz, which looks a little something like this. Okay, um, I'm just going to go through some of these really quick with you guys. But for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory. So up top, you guys have a little food web. This should be review from last week for you guys. You guys did a lot of work with food webs. Um, building your own and looking at the orange-bellied parrot food web. Okay, so note the direction of the arrow. Think about what that means. Here's our roe deer. Here's our lynx. We're talking about a population of these that we find in Sweden. Um, but you guys can find, obviously, lynx in a lot of places and deer. Not necessarily roe deer, but deer other places. Okay, so lynx and roe deer populations live in southern Sweden near the Baltic Sea. In this food web, so note how many organisms are included in this food web. So in this food web, what is our consumer population? It's question one and question two says in this food web, what is our resource population? So again, you guys are considering just these two organisms making up this food web. So if you don't see another organism on there, we're gonna assume it doesn't exist or we're not really gonna consider it for this activity. Okay, moving on in questions three, basically the rest of the quiz, you guys are given scenarios of the last of a 40 year time period between 1900 and 1940, of things that may or may not have happened to the lynx and the roe deer population. And then you guys are gonna talk about how that would affect the other population. So question three states, between 1900 and 1940 in the, okay, so this is the time period between 1900 and 1940, so in the early 1900s, the lynx population decreased in size because they were overhunted by humans. So too many people were hunting them, they were dying off, their deaths were higher than their births, and they decreased. What do you think happened to the population of roe deer when the lynx population decreased? So you guys are going to mark either increased, decreased, or stayed the same. Uh, same time period between 1900 and 1940. In the 19, early 1900s, the lynx population decreased in size because they were overhunted by humans. Um, but why did you see this change to the roe deer population? So up here, you guys explained uh, what you think would happen to the roe deer population. Now explain why you think that's going to happen. So some things you're going to notice in here is whether they increased, decreased, or stayed the same. So obviously that part should correlate with your guys' part here. If you wrote stayed the same, you're probably focusing on the answer that has stayed the same. If you guys said they're gonna increase, you're probably gonna focus on the two answers that had them increasing. And if you said decrease, you're gonna focus on the two answers that had them decreasing, okay? So then what else you guys are looking for from there outside of increase, decrease, or stayed the same uh, is you're gonna talk about whether they're getting preyed upon more or less and whether that led to their births being greater than their deaths or their births being less than their death. So consider what would happen if you guys had an increase, uh, excuse me, a decrease in links, what would happen to your deer and what that would cause for their population where they preyed upon more, preyed upon less, and would that cause more births than deaths or less deaths than births? Same scenario in questions five and six, except in this one, uh, in 1940, the lynx became illegal to hunt. So when the hunting stopped, our lynx population shot back up it went back up in size so what do you think happened to the roe deer after that okay so again increase decrease or say the same based on what you guys answered on this that's going to kind of rule out your options here so these two are increased this one stayed the same and this one's decreased and then why okay again we're looking at whether or not they're getting preyed upon more or less and if that increases their births over deaths or increases um decreases their births over deaths okay Scenario seven, in 1980, so this is a new time frame between 1980 and 2016. In 1980, a new population of roe deer migrated to this uh, Baltic Sea area of Sweden, so the same area we were considering before, and this increased the population of roe deer. What do you think happened to the population of lynx when the roe deer population increased? So do you think they increased, decreased, or stayed the same? And again, use that answer to kind of do a process of elimination. These two are increased. These two are decreased. 
And when this time we're talking about having more or less energy storage molecules and what that does to how they can reproduce. Remember, if you guys have more energy storage molecules, you're gonna see more reproduction, so more bursts. Finally, what are two ways in which a population increases in size and what are two ways a population decreases in size? This goes back to the last couple activities and really you guys could probably get these answers from these questions, okay? So what are two ways the population increases and decreases? We also talked about this in class um, after we had done the zebra migration activity. Once you guys finish up, make sure you guys hit submit in this form and then you guys can go back do your wrap up here. How do you think you did? You guys should have some idea how you did on both the quiz and on the critical juncture. And when you are all done, you may hand it in. And I hope you are having a wonderful Monday. I can't wait to see you guys all next Monday in the same class for four days a week. With the exception of UDLI, I will keep in contact. Bye.